Hi guys, my name's Olivia and today I'm going to be sharing with you what I spend in a week as a student living in Belfast. And I actually didn't spend anything at all on Monday, which is great. Tuesday um, I did a little Tesco shop, so I spent £13.74. Pence. I just did my Tesco shop. I got some vegetables, I got yogurt, I got chickpeas, I got some like ramen noodles, I got some crisps and a bit of chocolate. Um, I think that's everything I got. So yeah, I got a few things with yellow stickers in the reduced section and a few things that were on club card offer. So if you're a student or just anyone who shops at Tesco, definitely get yourself a club card if you don't have one. So that food shop did me for about a week. I would say that's pretty standard. I probably spend about 15 pounds a week on groceries. And on Tuesday, I also went for lunch with my friends. So we had like a three hour break between classes during the day. So we went to Maggie May. So I spent seven pounds on my lunch. I got soup, I'm pretty sure, which was really nice. I just wasn't super hungry um, and like a Diet Coke. Then on Wednesday, I actually didn't spend any money either. I think I was just doing classes this whole day, um, online classes, which are the bane of my life. But here we are. Um, I didn't spend any money because I didn't leave the house basically. On Thursday, um, I ordered some photos from a what, app called Free Prints, which is really good. If you don't have it, I would definitely recommend. You basically get like 45 free photos a month and then you just pick the postage. So the postage for that was $3.99 and I also ordered a couple of things on eBay and that was £5.29. Then on Friday I had a Klarna purchase which if you don't use Klarna I would definitely say it's like a student lifesaver. Um, Klarna basically lets you either split payments into three or pay for them 30 days later I was doing a pay in three for and I had £12.9p come out of my account on Friday for my Klarna purchase. I then went to do a little bit of charity shop mixing, which is one of my favorite things to do. And I picked up this really cool record. Um, I really like records and that was 1.50. And then on my way back to the car, I picked up a little oat milk latte in French Village, which was 2.90. Then on Saturday, I actually didn't spend any money either. I came home on Saturday morning. So I was just here with my family. I think we went for a walk, um, so I didn't have to spend any money. And on Sunday, I only spent six pounds because after church, I took my car to get washed. I do this probably once a month because I just like having a clean car, but I'm lazy and I don't want to do it myself. <laughs> so that was what I spent during the week. I'm now going to chat a little bit about my like fixed expenses. I'll start with electric and gas. The way ours works is it's like a pay as you go thing um, but generally between gas and electric so for the both of them I think we each in the house there's five of us in our house we each pay about five pounds a week and um, our wi-fi is actually included with our rent which is great and our rent which I would say rent is my biggest expense I live in a five bedroom house five bedrooms two bathrooms and it's a really nice house actually it's not the nicest area but the house is really nice and the people I live with are lovely. So our rent is £250 a month each. So there's five of us, we each pay that. And that works out as £62.50 a week. I pay one contract for my actual phone itself and then I pay another contract um, for my like, SIM, I guess. So my phone itself costs £40 a month. So it's like 10 points a week and then my sim contract is 10 points a month so 250 a week i also pay for amazon prime student which is four pounds a month so a pound a week and i also pay only for two months of the year i only pay for it when love island is on love island is a guilty pleasure <laughs> Um, but I pay for ITV Hub Plus so that I can watch Love Island without the ads. So that's a point a week as well. And then this is something which I actually didn't spend money on the week that I filmed this video. However, I am going to include it because I do feel like it's one of my biggest expenses. Usually I put petrol in my car every other week. At the minute with the price of petrol, it costs £75 ish 
to sell my car, which is so upsetting. I think it's only fair that I include petrol in this because I do spend a lot of money on petrol. Um, so I would say probably I spend 30 to 35 pounds a week on petrol. So guys, that is my week in spending as a student living in Belfast. I generally do think Belfast is a very cheap city to live as a student in comparison to some of the other big cities. I hope you guys have really enjoyed today's video. Sorry for the swift camera change at the end. I hope it was helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye!